Real quick at the start, I just wanted to say sorry about the delay. I know it's been a few weeks, and I know that happens fairly frequently, but I still want to say I'm sorry about it. I was injured. My arm was injured pretty bad for a while. Then I had to go back out into the field again, and in this off session, I've just spent the time trying to stockpile episodes. So I've played a ton of Final Fantasy and a ton of Outer, Wor Outer Worlds, and I will hopefully have a stockpile for you guys to watch while I'm gone. So thank you guys for waiting. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where I found out I have a machine gun. I have a, a apparently I have a light machine gun which uses a lot of light ammo. Where's my heavy gun that uses light ammo? And then you get it. And a toss ball stick which is it has um it's a higher DPS than my blade. Um and it has the effect of stagger. Um, and then this is apparently one-handed, oh, and it was better than the saber I had, and this is an assault rifle with the uh, shocking stuff and modifications. Um, I was kind of looking for, uh, because my intelligence is so high, I should be able to use, like, um, what do you call it, um, laser weapons type thing uh, but alas Come on. Ha! Ooh, uh, uh, okay here we go Shh. I have no idea what we're doing we're just we're here to mess around I don't know we're just here to mess around there's uh potentially things in here maybe it's a whole facility being guarded by robots. Auto, auto, auto mechanicals, that's what it is. Oh my. Oh my. I will, I don't mind if I do. So, I, it kind of feels like I'm never gonna leave this place. But, I think I am. Oh dang. It's just one of those, like, you know, starting world things where you feel like you're never, never gonna leave. But who knows? Okay, maybe there aren't as many auto-mechanicals here as I thought. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Gosh. Uh, reload. Holy moly. Oh, that's part of my- I am- <gasps> That's so sad. We made it! Oh, we did. Okay, I don't know why I was sneaking for that. Oopsie. Flywheel. I don't know what that does. Makes you fly. Vending machine. I have the ability to sell to vending machines. I'm, at some point, I'm gonna run out of space, and I'm gonna be real sad about it. Pneumatic wrench? Is that what that said? That probably is actually something that does something. Oh, oh, we can go into the geothermal plant. Oh, my. I mean, I was, I don't know. Oh, dang. Oh, there's, like, people, people? Oh, people died. Oh, dang. Maybe you were supposed to have, uh, real people here. There's a necklace. There's sci Those are scientists. Like, there were supposed to be real people here. Oh, corporate commander. I didn't kill them. I didn't do it. What me? Another corporate commander. Oh, my. Yeah, I did not do this. I swear. I don't remember much from last time, but I, uh, I know that much. Unless, they, unless these guardians were supposed to be here, the, the mechanicals... And then they just, um... Oh, hi. Maybe this gun isn't really good against me. Because they have a lot of armor. The other, the other one, ones went down faster, I think. 
Yeah, okay, okay. Oh dang. Oh, oh dang. Uh, hang on. What else do I have? I have this. Oh, I did it. Pneumatic piston. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, okay, okay, alright. Alright, in, in we go, I guess. Who knows? I'm probably not supposed to be in here and I'm gonna get in trouble, but you know what? Curiosity uh, killed the cat, but uh, satisfaction brought it back. That moon scares the crap out of me. Perks provide unique- Oh, that's right! I saw something about, um, recently. I, I just, like, glanced something, because they're putting out DLCs for this game, or updates, I think, still. Um, I mean, it's still a pretty new game. It came out this year. Um, in the year of our Lord 2020, which has been just a nightmare for the most part, but we're still here. <laughs> uh, for better or for worse. Um, but no, yeah, you can get, there's also, it's like dar Darkest Dungeon, where you can get, like, good perks, and then you can get, like, bad perks. Um, Mr. Thompson said to talk with Miss McDevitt before doing anything here? <gasps> oh, this is, oh, this is that place. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. Also, I did see a schematic for, uh, the Manta Queen, and she's disgusting. She's, ugh, like, actually just, wah, has some of those, like, oh, if you ever played Witcher 3 and you meet the fates or whatever they are, the the three witches, and they have, blah, like, actually gives me the heebie-jeebies and makes me want to throw up the lovely lunch I just had. Like, no joke. It's something that, ugh, holes in, I don't do well with, like, like, little tiny holes that bugs come out of. Oh, I don't do that. Uh, I don't do well with it. I don't do well with it. Their gear might not be up to date. Oh, maybe I should give Parvati a better weapon? Am I overburdened? I have a little pistol at the bottom of my screen. Does that mean I am overburdened? Oops. Item repair. Oh, that's an item repair symbol, potentially. Uh, what do I need? Uh, you can repair weapons at a workbench. Players. I can, I can do it without needing to do that. Okay, what do I need to repair? The the assault rifle? I haven't even... Oh, it's got the... Okay, that's what I thought. So it's got the little... That little wrench goes, like, down. I mean, do I... Do I need to repair it? I... I don't actually know. Oops. Repair... Oh. Extend up sight. Annoying girl stuff. I don't want to put anything on my current armor because my current armor sucks. Quest. Ew. Junk. Oh, it's junk. Nice. I can sell junk. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Parvati. Hang on. There's a machine over here I can sell this stuff to. Dang. I wonder why the scientist died. I am curious. Vending machine. Cell junk. Nice. I don't know what the rest of this is. I don't have to eat, I think. So I'm good. Unless there's, like, better... I know I'll be picking up armor eventually, but I don't want to keep using... I, like, I can't use the Marauder armor unless I remember to switch it out, which I don't want to worry about that. Parvati. Parvati. Um, so she's, I assume, good with the... I don't know. Persuade, lockpick, engineering, ability, overload. Okay, so she's she needs a hammer at all times. Oh, and if she's with me, okay, okay, okay. 
Oh, yeah, I saw something about how, like, you can use other people, or, or maybe just their stats give you extra, like, stuff. Oh, dang. Oh, that's what it is. The Persuade scale can inflict power, crippling fear when you damage a human target. Ah. I don't know what she wants. Does she want a better pistol? I think her hammer is probably pretty good. I, I don't have any better pistols. I think I'm also... I should probably sell some of these pistols, actually. Uh, sell. Sell some pistols. Sell a couple of those. They have a bunch. I'd like to try to keep like two of everything on the off chance that um Like when I get more companions and have to give them stuff, you know? I like to keep one for me and then one for uh somebody else. Anyway, I don't know. How did I get in? Oh yeah, it was over here. Alright, so we found the geothermal plant though that we'll need later on. Where did we... And what is my, what is my current objective? How long tomorrow? Turn in the medicine. I don't see the thing is is like helping more people than less people is kind of is a good idea as tr as slippery a slope as that can be but I also don't trust that woman and I don't know maybe I, maybe I shouldn't trust Abernathy either but he seems like a kind old man who thinks he's dying and maybe if you wanted to be really cruel you could say well he's dying and he's old and you could give this to somebody else and, um... Oh, okay, that's, there's that too, okay. Um, but yeah. Like, I don't know, it seems cruel to, like, take it from the old guy and just give it to, like, you know, people that the corporation potentially... Although, to be fair, she's not... I don't think she's kind of doing this, like, against the rules. And she said she wants to help people. I don't know if I believe her on that. But, um... But, yeah. It's like, why should she get to decide who gets the medicine? Although, why should I get to decide who gets the medicine? You know? Who gets to decide? Everybody should have it. You know? Weird. It's a slippery slope, but I'm just gonna go with the OG quest. And give it to the old man, because... Because he asked. I should also check and see how um, how to maybe switch out companions. Like, I think I have that guy as a companion. Dissenters in our midst. Philosophist. Oh, that's right, that's right. It's so funny. It's like a King Kong, but it's with a man, and he's like, ah. Welcome back to this place whose name I can't remember. Why can't I remember? Edgewater. Anyway, there was a bit of a glitching thing. Luckily, it happened on a load screen. So, out that load screen goes. Ha ha. Luckily, I'm keeping an eyeball on everything at all at once. A friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Still ain't passed. They got it. red, blue, and green you know how hair. You feel. And, uh, brown. Yo, buddy, when let's let's let's. You wanna mingle? Go try the cantina. Hey, you're the one who asked me for medicine. Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. Uh, ooh, Esther tells me you have a tendency towards hypochondria. I don't know what that means. Is that some sort of medical condition? Is my plague getting worse or something? Uh, you need this. Sweet 
sweet life-given nostrum. The first hit's always the best. Uh, what? Stretch together all the bits I had around the domicile. It ain't as much as you deserve, but it's all I got. He sounds like something a druggie would say. Uh, I don't, I don't want to bully him. Why? I don't, I don't need more. But it also sounds like something would somebody would say, um, if they were like, you know, you know, when you're like in pain and you're struggling and you're like, ow. Um. Where's... Oh, okay. Where's Adelaide, though? Is this gonna give me... It's not gonna send me to the geothermal plant, is it? I guess I can check the map. I can't check the map. <laughs> as far as I can tell. Emerald Vale region. Anyway, I feel like I was saying something and then got distracted. It's fine, but... Oh, but like, yeah, when it's like the first hit's the best, it's like, yeah, but it's also something that, um, you know, someone who's sick would potentially say, but I don't know. I don't know. I tried to be nice, and if it backfires, it backfires. Such is the way of things. Companions not pulling their weight or getting knocked down? Leave them in the desert. Oh, Adreno's the healer. I thought that was going to be like a stamina thing. Okay, now we can check the map. This is the plant. Yeah. And that is... But I can travel here. Yeah, let's go here. How do I do that? We'll travel here, and then we'll go talk to the residents. Which this is like, I guess this is, yeah, this is how I get my, the thing to get off the planet, but whatever, whatever energy, m bopper, battery, mip bop, wop, bop, bop, micro bopper thing. If any of you guys ever play Freddy Fish, <laughs> that was, uh, I played that game so much. It was a, it was a little PC game. Probably one of those edutational ones, you know, like an educational game. I had lots of those. I loved those. But we had a Freddy the Fish game that I played all the time, and one of the one of the objectives was to get the Mick Bop Mick Bop Mobber Whopper, and I never. I, that's not how you say it. I just never can actually remember it, the whole thing, like how you say it. Um. Uh, Marauders the Oh, are you serious? Oh, uh, maybe it's a separate door, but well, that'd be so hilarious if the one door Okay, it is. <laughs> if the one door is like, you know, aha, if you didn't pay attention, this one you could just walk right into. But the one side costs freaking five lockpick mechanisms and necklace. I think that's a cell thing. Thinking caplet. Dervish Mist. Ambidudextrine. There might be something good. In this, in this, it's cause it's got like fancy locks on it. So done. If we don't have freaking something good in here, I'll be oh jeez. A combat drone, oh my. Oh, Scorch Journal. After sneaking parts out of the industrial sector for a couple days, I think I finally have everything I need to build my own flying death machine. Oh, it killed you. However, upon closer inspection, I'm not entirely sure all these components will fit together properly. It's not like the board would build their mechanicals with custom tooled parts, right? Everything would have to be modular for all these mechanicals to run efficiently. I'll tool around with things for a bit and see what I can put together. After a few hours of experimentation, things are starting to come together, but I still don't have it down to exact science. For instance, there's something wrong with a memory processing core that I can't seem to sort out. 
When I tried to install it, the unit made a loud buzzing sound and refused to respond to any feedback. I removed it, whacked it with a wrench a few times, and that seemed to stop the buzzing. Things seemed like they were going well for a few seconds after I installed it again, but now there's a sharp clicking noise every few seconds, and the dang thing's right stabilizer won't stop twitching. I'll try removing the processing core again and giving it a few more whacks. That'll learn it. Yeah, okay. Oh, nice. They're gonna give us back some of our uh, things that we used. Assorted flower teas brewed from tropical leaves. Tri tropical leaves, not tropical. Tropical leaves. Caffeinated drink. Mind attributes plus one. Last thirty seconds. It's caffeine. That's what you get, bro. That's what you get. A plasma rifle. Woo! Sleep. We have to get time for sleep. Armor part. This was a teeny tiny house. That's what you get for uh, being mean to your being mean to your robot. Hold on a second. All right. Let's put that down, and we get the plasma. Oh dang, that's not a lot. Oh, your average is probably seventy-one, but the damage is anywhere from fifty-two to one eighteen. Magazine in sight. All right, let's give it a whirl. I'm supposed to be good at it. All right, that was good. It was a good stop. Anything evicted? Oh, dang, you see that? The evicted sign. Oh, dang, another one. I guess I could just... See, so yeah, I'll probably just follow the road. Parvati's still with me. Nice. We're doing really well. Maybe I got it. Maybe I, it's better to keep Parvati with me for all of this and not the vicar because, well, I don't know. The vicar could be useful, helpful, too, for trying to talk people down, maybe. But I think Parvati's more Move sympathetic. Along, stranger. We don't want any Yo, trouble. what up? Hey, hey, let's chat. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Uh, Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Um. Trouble with marauders? You don't know what enough with the questions means? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around, wondering if marauders got to her. You could always go looking for her. I go looking for Zoe. I leave the camp undefended, seeing as I'm the only one of us who knows her way around the gun. Oh, really? Hence my dilemma. Oh, dang. Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Oh, you snoop around in her room and they yelled at you? That seems weird. Like if they want to find her, you know? Little ways ago. She was always obsessing over oh, serial dramas. This is before she went missing. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. Maybe the marauders took her away. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I could tell. Maybe they ate her! Any chance you could point me somewhere specific, not just out there? Marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. Uh, how well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. You seem so personable. No, 
I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Dun, dun, dun. Ew, gross. Okay, don't worry about it. I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. Uh, I got, I got questions about I'll Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. Nope, never mind. What is it? Bye. Alright, alright. We got a quest. We got a quest from, from the people. Is that the... Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So, here. Okay, we'll go talk to the leader. We probably shouldn't just not be, uh... Shouldn't just be wandering around the place without talking to the leader. Oh, dang. This is cool. Howdy. Oh, gosh. It's so pretty. Isn't it? Hello. Hello. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Oh, dang, she's super nice. Are you Adelaide? Or you must I be Adelaide? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. What? I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Eh? Uh, is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. Uh, uh, <laughs> never knew you could go tripe in a garden. Oh, dang. I'm surprised you managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Like you've made a home for yourself out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. Is she philosophical? I don't know. Why'd you leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that Sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. Or you've changed the as a person. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go, but Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Um, Reed asked you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. <laughs> I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. I think they're doing better out here than they are in the other place. They've probably got better food out here. And, um, are nicer to each other. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has a power regulator. I needed to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service They're to They're not going to see it that cannery. way. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. 
Yeah, you say that, but, uh... uh a hero to you, maybe. A hero to the people who matter. To us. To the ones who come around. To the ones you save. But a villain to the ones I Reed kill. will never understand. He has been too long inebriated on the wine of corporate culture. All he sees is productivity, output, profits. Uh, let's say I help you, what happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You hope they don't just, you know, try to tear it down out of spite, you know what I mean? Like, some people aren't gonna understand. Like, I think she's probably, a, like, a, of a more liberated mind frame than others, but, like... You also, you can't really make that choice for others, you know? It's something you gotta choose yourself, so... But obviously, I have to choose one way or the other. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town, and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. It's true. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery. Living off whatever scrap Spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Hmm... I don't much like like you throwing that in her face to get me on your side. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. What do you have against people trying to make a living? It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's it's choice. It's true. The company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen and it. And the town's already failing. All That's anyone true. ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation. I mean, and then I'm with you. And they're into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. I'm with you. It's true. And, like, I guess, like, the, the, the town has been failing for a while, but these guys seem to be doing pretty well for themselves, you know? And it's like, these are, like, the true pioneer, like, colonist spirit people who, like, you know, are going out and taking what little they have and trying to make a good life for themselves, you know? Like, on a different one, one that doesn't require, like, being sold to a, to a corporation, essentially, you know? And being treated like a cog in a machine, so... We can wander around though and see see what's see what's all about here. Like there's always, you know, there's always more sides to a story. Uh, I guess you have a point. So, what do you say? Divert power over to us. Shut down that abominable cannery for good. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. I'm curious what's in your special fertilizer, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> is it people? Is it people? I'll be very upset if it is. Anyway, I should probably call this episode here. I think we're at a good stopping spot. It's hard to tell when I had to split it in half. Anyway, I hope you all are doing well and that you're enjoying the play 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 playthrough. And I hope to see you in the next one.